the seated resistance band row. Now, I'm gonna be using this child's timeout chair because I don't want you seated too high or too low. So maybe a step stool or even like a few throw pillows, you can throw those together, stack them up. You don't wanna to be too high off the floor. Okay, and then for your resistance band, you wanna anchor that right in front of you. So when you're in the seated position, you want that anchor to line up with your chest. Okay, so I'm gonna reach over and grab my handles. Now with this one, the handles are gonna be separated. You're gonna sit up tall on the item that you're sitting on. Make sure that you're not arching that back. We wanna tuck those hips under just slightly. Belly button's gonna be pulled to our spine. Sit up tall with your shoulders back. Now for that bat wing row, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull both elbows back, creating an arrow from elbow to head to other elbow, okay? So a little bit of space under those elbows is what I mean. Uh, enough room for maybe like a grapefruit or a small fruit underneath your elbow, right underneath your armpit, okay? chest up we're going to row just one side releasing that arm and then pulling back the other arm is holding that tension on that back shoulder blade as i release and row on one side i'm also making sure that i'm not rotating left to right okay so you'll finish up your reps and then you're going to lock that elbow back keep that tension on the other arm now and now we're going to be rowing the other side and remember, whenever you're gonna be doing any single-sided exercises with your upper body, it's best to start with your weaker side or your non-dominant arm.